Hi, welcome to Skate Tech with Mark, and this week we're going to do a deep dive on radiuses. I actually had a hockey player in here today, older guy, I uh, got a new hockey blue, uh, blade out of the box, and it's got really rounded edges, and we wanted to soften it out, and I thought, you know what, this would be a great week to talk about radiuses. So I brought a couple of blades, uh, just three of them, uh, one new, one old, but I, we really want to talk about when people say, hey, I have this radius, what does that mean? So the radius, again comes in about two parts. There's from the tail of the boot, or tail of the blade, all the way to the center stanchion. And you can see that right there. And from there, there's this rounded part. And each one's a little different. Well, one of the uh, devices that we have, uh, Sid Broadbent made this, this awesome little gauge. And up here is infinity, which means flat. And these red marks are at feet. And then at about five feet, you can see 60 inches here. And then this tells you all the way around to this amazing little, uh, 10, 10 inch circle, 10 inch circle would be like tiny small. And so that helps you know what profile you have on that radius. And so I have my straight edge here and uh, it's got a magnet on it so I gotta get that off of there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna calibrate it. And so I put it right here on the edge. I put it right here on the edge and we'll bring it up here so you can see it. And I got it squared up there and you can see it's right at the affinity. You can adjust this, you know, that's why these gauges sometimes everything you know needs adjustment in life right so there is the infinity and put it right on it and so that means it's absolutely flat so if i pick this up and i go down here see that oh i gotta not tip it infinity go down a little bit more infinity you know and as i travel across this you can see it stays nice and flat right there at the infinity as i let go of it see how it comes off so let's go to our first blade and this is a freestyle blade and i'm going to put it down here at the tail and you can see, make sure I got it in there. You can see about at the five foot circle at a heel. And that often happens sometimes sharpening, a little extra pressure. But as we get into the blade, see how it goes into the red? It gets into the red and we know we're in our base. And as we come to about right here, you'll notice that the whole thing starts to curve forward and we get into that spinning part where we roll through and we come up to the toe pick and we hit our smaller circle. And then again, let's look at, this is a dance blade. And you can see right there on the seven foot rocker, coming through, coming through nice and stable. Here's the stanchion on this one, the middle stanchion. And as, oops, sorry, I tipped it a little bit. As I hit it and I come forward, see how it starts to roll forward? And that's that spinning rocker part. See, it went really aggressively around as I come through and I'm almost there and there's the front. And then this is another freestyle blade. This one's actually got a little bit of rust. It's an older one. I'm going to start right here at the at the tail end. See how it's already got a rocker profile at the heel. And as I get into the middle, here's that, that heel stanchion. See now it's starting to get into that feet circle. And there's my feet. And I'm going to go off again. And there's feet, 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 feet. Now if I get to that middle stanchion, I'm starting to roll. See that move? Oh, and it gets really aggressive right at the toe. Okay. Now. Let's look at a recreational skate. Move these out of the way. And you'll see here at the heel of a recreational skate, very flat. Remember, this is my infinity symbol. And then as we come into it, see how it hits that rocker profile? Stays pretty stable. This looks to be that eight foot radius. And then as I hit right about here, it's gonna start to roll forward, but not as aggressively as the other ones did. Nice and even all the way to the toe pick. So this is our main rocker. This is the one you're gonna see listed on the company websites. And then in here, the spinning rocker, these are the ones that are native to each specific type of blade. And also over time, um, have to be reprofiled. You're gonna to go to an experienced skate tech to do that. So hope you guys have a great week and we'll talk to you next week.